Well, good morning, everybody. We have lost a giant, a legend. And this morning on News Channel 9, we are paying tribute to our friend and colleague, Rod Wood. The Hall of Fame news anchor died late Sunday night, one day after his 81st birthday. Rod covered the news here in his hometown for almost 60 years, started in radio right after he got home from the Army in 1963. You know, he retired from News Channel 9 just a year ago last month after 44 years at News Channel 9, most of them at the anchor desk, either in this building or first over at uh, the old shopping town mall. Tim Fox this morning looks back at Rod's life and career. He was born Roderick Woodruff Grote and grew up in the Westcott neighborhood near Syracuse University. Rod shared the news, good and bad, with generations of Central New Yorkers. He was honored with induction into the New York State Broadcasters Hall of Fame with Kerry Lazarus in 2011. This is Nine Eyewitness News. Together, they formed one of the longest-running local anchor teams in American television history. You're all in broadcasting. You know that anchor teams are very much like arranged marriages. Lots of other people think it's a great idea. You're not so sure. 26 years later, it is a solid relationship and a wonderful marriage. Some said 25 years ago we'd never last this long, but we'd prove them wrong. And Rod's work brought many other honors over the years. A plaque on the Syracuse Press Club's Wall of Distinction. For five decades, he has been there to deliver the news. A the tribute from the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives and an honorary degree from Onondaga Community College. When he retired, the newsroom here at News Channel 9 was named in Rod's honor. Last November, he talked with Christy and Carrie about his role as a leader and a mentor to generations of young journalists who've passed through the station. As you know, I've always tried to be a friend to everybody and treat people with respect, mm -hmm. be they uh, the studio uh, technicians or, the, uh, you know, the uh, anything, uh, cameraman, reporters. You know, I've never tried to be condescending in any way. I mean, I always treat everyone like they're my equal. Mm -hmm. And that's the way I live my life. Rod Wood passed away peacefully Sunday evening after a short illness surrounded by his family. His death came one day after his 81st birthday. Rod lost his wife, Nanette, in May of 2020. He is survived by five children and 10 grandchildren.